power can be found in any number of places. Scientists will tell you that it comes in Newtons. Gamers will say that it can be found in silky skills. We will say that the power lies in real thrills. In the play with perfect ping. In the runes and crystals. In every frag and gank. In your personal winnings. Lock and load for PGL Arlington. Everybody and welcome to game number two for the PGL Arlington Major group stage between Beast Coast and EG. EG takes game one with a Medusa pick. What could they possibly think of next? Maybe a Terror Blade is in our future, Jenkins. That's right, Suns fan. They could have won 10 minutes ago, is what we said at the end of the game. And that's what we'll probably say at the end of this game, if EG wins. Of course, we're used to this as are all of the EG fans, or losing. Uh, so this is it. Let's get into the draft, because it's already begun. Ten seconds. All right, so what do we have here? We got a, the old Kunkka Shadow seconds. Shaman opening from Beast Coast. <laughs> yes, we do. <laughs> Kunkka Shadow and a Puck Shadow. Death Prophet from EG. That's so right. A little bit of a switch That's up right, here. Shan, man. So the difference is, is Viper is banned this time around. Marcy was kept until second phase, so it makes it the second phase ban, surprisingly enough. But I think three of the first four bans are the same, right? Y you know what? Uh, ignoring totally what yep, you just sure, said. Yeah, sure. Of course. Uh, you know what? Yeah. I, I think uh, Five seconds. playing Viper is like, like why Abed played Viper last game. It's this like insurance policy where you show teams that you're willing to play it. So that way they have to ban it. You don't want to play it. But it's like you have to get in the occasional like Viper game so the enemy team feels like, okay, we, we, like, we have to ban it out. And it worked this game. Uh, Beast Coast did take it out. What was your question? Just I didn't really have a question. Okay. Uh, but right. Puck does make it to the first round. I, was she banned last phase or last game? God, it's so hard to remember. There was one difference because the Viper uh, got instituted in the first phase this time around. Uh, I don't remember Kanka, Rasta, or DP being banned first phase, but could be wrong. Either way, we're going to see the Abed Puck, so it's pretty much like kind of straightforward. Puck, and Puck was banned. We assume that Death Prophet will be played by Nightfall, although it could be a support, I guess. I mean, does Crit ever play this? Nah, there's no, there's no way Crit would play if, if anything, it's Fly, but uh, I don't. I don't know. I, so I a pretty flexless lineup. Yeah, for pretty EG. flexless. Yeah, which would be. For the most part, EG's mantra. Um, I, I feel like it, it is a good DP core game because you're playing into Kunkka. Uh, even Shadow Shaman, you can like interrupt his shackles from far away with the silence that she has. Mm -hmm. uh, even very good against Tiny. Percentage HP damage against Tiny Kunkka. Very strong. It's a super good Death Prophet core game. Uh, and Puck, I, I, I mean... Puck just doesn't play any other role. But Beast Coast, they, they let the Puck through because they counter it with the Kunkka, which is going to beat it in lane. And then Shadow Shaman, which, which beats it in game. And even Tiny, which beats it in game, even, wow. at, even as a four position. So they're, like this is 100%. Like We know that EG is going to pick Puck if we let it through because it's Abed. Uh, and they let it through, and then they completely hard counter. And, and that seems to be the strategy that they're going with here. I think another hero to hard counter is maybe doubling down a little too hard. This is probably going to be it for the puck counters. True. Uh, Nature's Prophet is available. That's true. That was a second phase ban last time around from Beast Coast. So Arteezy has, I mean, they banned Terror Blade themselves. Like, they don't want Arteezy playing that, apparently. So we got the, the Medusa still in play, of course, as always. Nobody ever wants to ban that for some reason. And still that Nature's Prophet. But we'll see. Enchantress, Enchantress. So that's a fly hero. The fact that you just know what these heroes are going to be played, who they're going to be played by. Surely there's a way to take advantage of this. Yeah, yeah, probably. I believe the next pick will be Crit Tusk. Ten okay. Seconds. I'm not mistaken. 
So then that'll leave a five seconds. An Arteezy hero. Yeah, to lane with Enchantress. What is an Arteezy hero to lane with Enchantress? Uh, let's see. Well, CK's banned and Terrorblade, two of hero, two heroes that he has it's played. Yeah, it'll be the Tusk. The tusk. Okay. So. Uh, <laughs> God Maybe damn. we should be coaching. God damn it. Uh, I think it'll probably be Alchemist if Alk is not banned. Ah, okay. Uh, and, of course, you know, naturally, if, if we can come up with this, so can Beast Coast. So uh, they'll definitely be banning it out. Uh, or, or you know, there's always that allowing. Medusa, <laughs> Jenkins. Yeah, I, I, you're right. There is always that Medusa. But you do uh, have two bans. So if they got rid of both of those heroes, then what's left for Arteezy? You know, Nature's think, profit I, still. I, I think, yeah, yeah, of course. I think Alk is fun, at least. Like, I, I think EG plays really well around around yeah. having an Alk. It's like a Medusa, but active, which is which is cool. Uh, I would I would enjoy to see some sort of Alk action. Yep, I agree. And then from Beast Coast side, you said the Kunk is mid in all likelihood. I feel these like are probably them, your two supports. If if I had to pick, if if you you know threaten me with violence i would say okay it's it's a this is going to be a batrider offlaner to, to to play with the tiny uh it's pretty good when you have a kunkka mids because you already have a like tanky hero to run in and set things up so you kind of already have a hero that fulfills the traditional offlane role keeper uh, of the light okay is there a flex position here with kunkka playing one and keeper going mid or perhaps i mean i guess kunkka can't really flex anywhere else you don't see him offlane all too often I don't think I've ever seen Hector play Kunkka before, so I would say probably Five not. Okay. Uh, I'm going to make a call here and say there's a Whisper Coddle offlane. I feel like that's the most Beast Coast thing to, to do. Uh, they, they He's usually their like, weird hero player and just a Chris Luck, uh, Chris Smile, mm -hmm. Kunkka. I mean, that's that's like his favorite guy to play, one of them. Uh, so... Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna say there's a whisper coddle off, or, or maybe it's just a maybe it's a whisper tiny, and the coddle is just a support to to lane with the uh, with the tiny or shadow shaman with tiny. They're they're both good. They're both definitely fine. Okay. Uh, if you're on the coddle as a support and you run tiny off lane, whisper tiny, then uh, you can it's like bristle. You can pick ember spirit side lane. Some good combos with the coddle. Okay, so a little bit open for Beast Coast because obviously Tiny, well, I guess position one is, if you're saying that Kunkka isn't played by K1, then... I think it's more likely that position one, the position one is yet to be picked and uh, it's going to be Whisper Tiny offlane or Whisper Coddle. My, my gut says Whisper Coddle just because I feel like Beast Coast, especially Whisper, is just a, such a weird dude yes, that just cool. likes playing this weird stuff. And they ban, they ban the, thank God they ban the Medusa. Thank okay. goodness. So okay. still Nature's Prophet and Alchemist on the board. So they're going to get one of them, unless they ban one themselves, which <laughs> could e happen. EG have been known they to have, do. They have done that. <laughs> they have done that before. Yeah. And then they win, which is always... <clears throat> yep. They have had... I mean, other than yesterday, they have had a very easy DPC thus far. Uh, they lost to Nouns early on in the season and then just crushed everybody else. Including Nouns in the tiebreakers. Including Nouns again. So... Juggernaut taken out, so K1 won't be getting that. Uh, EG pretty convinced that this will be a position one. So CK's and out too. Troll, Troll Warlord. Yeah, that's, wow. another, that's another K1 hero. Okay. Um, I mean, not much left for him. Uh, Wraith King is the only one that I can pick that. really think of, but I don't I know he plays, or he has played Lifestealer, but this doesn't look like a good Lifestealer game at all. It, it's Radiant's turn. Uh, Okay. Oh, that's the other one. That's okay. the other one. Yeah, yeah. Right. It's a it's a pretty fine TA game. I mean, Shadow Shaman can take peel through the refraction. Tiny can also. A uh, Kunkka Torrent, but they're not. These are not really that great methods of tearing Ten through the, the refraction. Uh, it's like TA could like Five any seconds. one of these TA can blink out of pretty easily. Uh, I think I think he is pretty confident that against a Caudal Tiny, which it's most likely going to be, that he'll have a free lane on TA, and that's why he wanted the pick. It's also really good with Tusk, really good with Death Prophet, combination of physical damage, minus armor. And Beast Coast carry will be Luna! It has been a hot minute since I've seen her. All right. Okay, Whisper feels like... Whisper uh, baby! Okay, I knew it. This, this guy's too, too next level to do some previous level <laughs> Tiny offlane. <laughs> 
Okay. And, and of course, you've Gojira. Like, this guy wants to play the tiny. Yeah, he is very good on tiny for sure. There's no way that Stinger takes tiny. I was going to say that, that would that would blow my mind if Stinger was All like, right, I'm so tiny. This other game. than the keeper of the light positioning, everything else seems to be as expected. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Who's, whose lineup would you rather have? I mean, I don't even know what Luna does anymore. Like, how, how good she is. Like they, uh, the, when she last was like super popular is when like right before they nerfed her shard. I I do think she's a bit underrated. Uh, I I, I really seconds. do like the the Ag Scepter ult. I think I think that's really good. I know there's like a really late timing, but if you can get the Ags from like a third Roshan, it can like instant win the game. Uh, even just as like a fourth fifth item. Uh, a lot of the times, like, when you're talking about fourth, fifth items, like, this stuff wouldn't matter for other roles, but for carry, like, you actually get to that point. And so, like, being able to go above six slots on a carry is, is actually valuable. Uh, TA also has a very valuable eggs. Like, some carries are good heroes. Like, they're, they're, good, like they're good carries, but their seventh and, and eighth slot are just useless. Like, a moon shard is bad on them, or, like, the eggs is bad. Maybe the ag shard is bad. And so, like, their scaling potential isn't that high. But I feel like Luna has mm -hmm. one of the best ag scepters in the entire game. Yep. The Ridiculous Eclipse. Uh, but it's definitely not something they'll focus on early. Like no, you, 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 never, you never get it early. But you do, you do, eventually, you do eventually get it. And two Ancient Farming here, uh, carries on, on both sides. Like, I feel like TA and Luna fulfill a similar role where you often beat a lot of these more, like, traditional melee carries because Battle Fury is not really a thing, and these heroes, like, have a built-in Battle Fury. Right. Other than Sven, like, these heroes, and Medusa, I suppose, uh, these heroes can, can just out-carry another carry by having more farm than them. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, which, yeah, which lineup, though, would you rather have? Probably each. I'm not a huge believer in the coddle off. Anytime, anytime that I've seen this in a competitive, I, I saw it a, a bit. Uh, to be fair, uh, it was the boosters, and they were obviously the like weaker team at that tournament. Uh, but the coddle off, like, it's just, like you don't know, even lose, and then still certain hero roles can look good. Yeah. Like while they're losing, like the boosters had a couple of those. They had, they had an Elder Titan offlane that actually looked pretty good. The Caudal offlane looked horrible, and it, it always has. But uh, this is Whisper. This is a different team. They know how to play around his goofy stuff. I'm not a believer, but I'm super open to being proven wrong about this. Okay. Well, should be an exciting game number two. As, oh, Fly, his smoke pops, and they're not going to go high ground as a result of that. So K1 not able to take full juicy advantage of that. Uh, but EG up 1-0 in this series, and they have been really hurting for wins until today. I mean, they're 3-0 today after being 0-4, I believe, yesterday. Uh, East Coast, on the other hand, they came with the exact same record as EG into this series, so they're pretty desperate for wins as well. Both of them coming into this were tied bottom two, which yeah. would be elimination. I think in this group, there's only two eliminations uh, because of uh, the lack of one team, which shall not be named. Because they canceled. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very weird. All, all on, all very on them. Strange. All on them for sure. Yeah. Got America. Get them visas. I mean, they're kicking that guy anyway. Right? Now the battle begins. I'm pretty sure that's what they're doing. They're replacing the guy that couldn't get a visa, and they're going through the last chance qualifier. Because even if they had won this major, they wouldn't have had enough to go to TI. And toss into the shackle. This could set up first blood as Fly gets off the nature's attendance. So this going to be a little bit more difficult to kill. In fact, might be impossible as the Illuminate comes out. Fly still relatively healthy as Gojira with another toss back. You can see that crit is on his way and Fly looks to be taken down here. They're trying to give the last right click to somebody in particular. Certainly not supposed to be Stinger, but he'll take. That's a pair of boots he'll get early, you know. Yeah, they're really wrapping around on, on old Teezy here. Now, what do you think of Arteezy being in the offlane? Yeah, that is... Bad. I believe... Okay, so what does this leave? They're trilaning right now. Okay, so this leaves Hector versus a Death Prophet. <laughs> <laughs> I don't... That's a little odd. Uh, a bit weird. I feel like Death Prophet probably wins that. Oh, yeah. 
You just run down the lane, spirit cycling her. So, I, I mean, if this is the matchup you get, I think EG's happy with this. For sure. Um, I, I suppose, like, EG's trying to match the lane of, of the TA versus the Coddle, because you can just never peel off these refraction charges. Coddle can duster a lot of other heroes in, in lane because of the blast, and it's just never going to have it against a TA. I've seen TAs deny, like, entire creep waves against a Coddle. So shockingly, I've actually seen this matchup in a sideline, sadly. Sadly, why? No, it's just it's just a goofy thing. It's like you'd think that you don't see this, but in on US East, I, I have seen it. <laughs> yeah, just US East, though. Yeah, just US East. Though. All right, Puck versus Conker. You said Conker gets the better of Puck, but it's not like overwhelming, I'm sure. No. I mean, Puck is just one of us here. This is always going to be okay ish. As Jackal, bot lane, but it is going to be canceled as Arteezy is going to drop. So that is to the right click of the tiny. Okay. So Gojira getting the better of Arteezy here, and the question is, does EG stick with the tri lane or not? Yeah, so so Beast Coast in this scenario, they just they got the level 2 timing uh, between Gojira and, and Whisper, uh, and they punish Arteezy, he's level 1. TA oftentimes in these side lanes, you get a lot of solo XP. You can't really do that in a tri v tri, so he's only level 1. Yeah, they are going to give him solo XP to a full wave now, so yeah, catch up a bit. And it looks like they're committing to the, the tri v tri. Uh, to start this game. He wants cut the wave top. Yeah, he's going to have to. I mean, it's a 6-0 advantage versus 12-6. and 6. 36 yeah. denies from Nightfall. And oh something my. that people forget is Nightfall used to be position 1. His mechanical skill is, like, on par with anybody in the world. So in a uh, 1v1 matchup, go. I would give him the advantage most of the time. I worry for Hector. He sent out a band of elven skin, which is a very carry-type mentality. No regen. How the hell... Is he gonna lane against a Death Prophet? Six wand charges? That's not enough. She's gonna siphon you. You're dead. Yep. Well, we'll see if it happens. I mean, they are keeping off the map here uh, in terms of just the vision, so Nightfall might be expecting somebody to abandon the tri lane in the bot lane for Beast Ghost and accompany K1 top, but not yet actually happening. As K1, you can see, he's still quite low. He's kind of unsafe to even grab this. I feel like Nightfall can just pull over. Yeah, I'm just gonna take one creep for himself, and I mean, K1 is getting some farm, but this is a hundred percent free for Nightfall. He is having no issues. Yeah, and I mean, I, I feel like on paper, getting a Death Prophet off to a better start than a Luna is gonna have more snowball potential. Yeah, you would, you would think so. You would think so. Uh, early level six can rotate to this tri lane, take the tower. Up yep, Shackle, snowball to cancel it though. It looks like EG want to commit onto a kill because Jira gets a nice triple avalanche into a huge Illuminate and Fly drops. So EG again not able to claim another kill here as Crit did want just enough to stay alive. And the question remains, does EG stay here? I mean, again, if they're fine with Nightfall crushing this top lane, then... Oh my god. <laughs> Look at these big gloves of haste. It is like, dude, where's my support to give me regen, bro? That's what this is. Wow. That is quite greedy. That's extremely greedy. He's 13-0. I feel like if he sent out a salve, he'd have double the CS. But, uh, of course, Hector's getting a lot of XP for this. It feels good to be this good. Yeah, Fly has abandoned the tri lane. And the question is, I mean, does Arteezy end up coming up here at some point? Because Nightfall has gotten enough levels to be able to sustain himself mm -hmm. in bot lane. But maybe, maybe Arteezy starts, like, he goes to mid and... Abed rotates out, and then Arteezy also takes the triangle. I, I feel like coming top, oh, maybe he's got for the, a bit. He's got the pine cone. Nightfall's there with the spirit siphon. He's gonna get linked up by Stink. He's not gonna take heavy damage as a result of this positioning. Either of which will die, but EG just bullying this top lane every single time someone comes close to the wave. Yeah, this top lane is a is a disaster. And bot is bot's kind of bad for EG too. I, I feel like bot is just bad because Gojira is playing extremely well. Like the, the three-man avalanche, he's so patient on Tiny. He's the one guy that can make this hero look good on any patch. It's like him and Matthew are just so good at this hero. Okay, one. K1. <laughs> he has been struggling from the beginning of this game. Obviously a very tough matchup as uh, Nightfall. I mean, it's nine more CS, but it's more about the XP, I feel like. Like, 17 denies. Is Whisper getting gone on by Arteezy? But it is a 1v2 at the moment, so... Arteezy does have to be a bit careful. When it's not a try, Arteezy's a little happier with, with dealing with this. 
He can just refract in the blasts if he if he gets caught in them. Yeah, so three zero advantage to start this game for Beast Coast, but doesn't really tell the whole story. It feels like this K one is jungling now. This is just getting worse and worse. Oh my goodness! I, I gotta say, he griefed himself oh. with the build. He griefed himself. Exorcism from Nightfall in the top lane. And you can see multiple TPs coming in from Beast Coast. It's gonna cost Stinger his life. As Fly might be the trade. And considering the amount of TPs that were forced here, I think EG is gonna be A okay with the fact the exorcism almost enough to take out Gojira. Gracious me. And even oh Abed. He's looking for the kill on way back, but I think they have an idea this is happening. Going for the wave instead. Okay, oh, he's he already used his arm. phase shift. Okay, he's waning risk to the other side. He's gonna get the kill. And all of the spells from Konka. Did he not X? Because that did not look like he did. Either way, though, this might end up being a kill anyway to Abed, because Beast Coats have come in numbers. So he gets punished eventually. Looked a little hairy at first. Yeah, that's that's definitely a good trade for Beast Coats. Getting, getting Abed there. He's top CS in the game. He's a big boy. His first rotation kind of... Is that his first rotation? Yeah, it was. First rotation of the game. Uh, did not use Coil. Still has Coil for when he respawns. Arteezy is not farming for once. He's in meld form right now. He's, he's having a good time there. <laughs> he's praying. He's praying to Gaben that somebody comes down there. Yeah, well, Fly is showing himself. Gojira right, here we go. making Here's the, the slow walk. Here's the victim. Man, he is really patient, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, let's go. Come oh. on. Oh. No, that's... Juicy Gojira. That's not enough. Oh, here we go. Fly baiting a bit. Arteezy from the other side. Gets the trap off his silence thanks to the waning rift and deletes Whisper. And it looks like Stinger is going to be next as Nightfall has joined the party as well. Even Crit cutting off his one exit. So two for nothing for EG as the chase continues on Gojira. Waning rift and still the coil expended here. So lots of spells at the exposal of Abin and company. And he actually breaks it just to have some say in how he does die. So nice exchange here for EG. Three for Nada. Yeah, great, great rotation from Abed, but it, it, it did also cost EG literally all of their heroes. So during that time, Hector's been getting a bit of uh, a bit of chuck room. You know, he's got his band of elven skin, he's got a power treads. He went greedy efficient items. So sort of it's easy actually, same items. Yep, true. Exact same inventory. Carry players, man. Yeah, they got one mentality. That's it. One thing on their mind. That's the gold. That's right. That's right. Digging for gold. Dragonlance basically done for uh, Arteezy. As I haven't really talked about Nightfall too much, but you can see he is still doing quite well. So we're going to see a sheep immediately used from Stinger, but he's surrounded here by both Fly and Ob and trying to deny himself to the creeps, but the waning rift will reign supreme. Nightfall pings mid. He's got that exorcism ready. I think with an enchantress creep, they probably can get it. It's uh, Whisper's got to be set up already to defend this. He TP's in. He's got those boots of travel, actually. Okay. Pretty quick. The exorcism forces out the fortification. Not able to blinding light into the illuminate as crit does find Gojira. Abed with the waning rift and the block off. Nicely done from crit. Will lead to another kill for EG. I think they started this game. Was it 5 0 Beast Coast? It's something like seven that. Seven in a row from EG, I believe. Yeah. It's, the, it's kind of spill over from the top lane. But Nightfall is. runs bot, runs mid, gets killed in both locations, gets the tower. Opbed also had a very solid game. And Chris Lux have an amazing game as well, too. Uh, top net worth. He hasn't really done anything with it yet. Opbed. Oh, Looks like he's going to be fine. Actually goes to the mid lane as uh, the 10 minute rune was already taken. It was an arcane. arcane. Yeah. So no bottle refill for Abed. No, that's a that's a big rune to get on Kunka. Uh, you can just like throw it yourselves and have another round of them so quickly. K1 trying to play the catch up game. You can see his farm just right slap dab in the middle. And despite the awful start for Arteezy, I mean, he's top net worth. So. Dude, I it's pretty incredible. Actually. I guarantee you, the K1 called for Stinger to tank the Ancients like that for him. That is absolutely the sort of call that he makes in a game. He literally will be like, "Come tank this for me. Come tank this for me." He doesn't care for ruins your game. <laughs> he calls for, uh, which always means that he does. Like he will. I guarantee you, he will come back this game. Like he he will, because uh, that's how that's what K1 does.
but uh, right. still bossing around the Shadow Shaman. He here. is absolutely bossing around Stinger. Yeah, and you can tell it no high ground vision for Bisco. It's going to cost them one kill, maybe two, as K1. Very slow. He's going to get snowballed and brought down. Double kill for Nightfall. Thanks for that is an absolutely too. punishing Double play kill. from EG, who continue to just rack up this kill streak. Crypt Storm Max on Nightfall. I, I like this build when you're really leading. Uh, you can just send a bunch of regen and constantly spam it on people. And as we saw there, oh, Alda, who has wow. kind of low HP at this point, it's uh, a lot of nuke damage. Uh, tons of magic damage on EG, actually. Tons of damage in general. They're very... Feeling very good about themselves right now. I see Smile working on a BKB. He's going to get the Hex, or the, not the Hex, the X onto Fly, who turns into a little piggy himself. He's going to get boated. And Wand with the Nature's Attendance. Arteezy not willing to help out his comrade. Well, he will trap down just to be able to say that he tried to help. Oh, they tried to give it to Hector. They, they tried, tried, but see Smile was really itching for that kill. Yep. Abed is going to get a Haste Rune. So finally a bottle refill for him. He's getting close to the Witchblade. And for Nightfall, has the Tress and almost done with the BKB himself. He's going to pop the Exo just to be able to secure this bottom, or the top tier one, I should say. I'm surprised he actually popped the Exo for that. Whisper's got his full vessel. He's looking for kill. Yep, crit might just provide for him. But he's going to be coupled up with Abed, and they're going to delete Stinger right off the bat. And Abed's going to be A-OK. -okay. Crit might be the trade, though. And again, he's winning a lot of time, especially with his taunt. Not making Beast Coast feel very good. Makes them walk around the Ice Shards. He's going to get x Taunts again. And the kill will go to K1. Vessel charges. That's that's really big for Beast Coast. Uh, by the way, Whisper's going for a Witch Blade next. That interesting build. Huh. Uh, I, I think it's pretty cool. It's like people will go Dagon on Keeper of the Light because of the magic amp of the second spell. Kind of in the same line of thinking, and it gives them a bit of tankiness as well. It's something for peeling through the refraction chargers as well on the TA. It's kind of cool. Okay. That is interesting. I don't think I've seen that one before. No, I don't. I've not. Right, a lot of these South American teams do have like really cool builds. Sometimes they really don't work out, but other times they really do. Um, can They certainly have the power to start metas. Let's yeah. just say that. Yeah. They started tiny thing. Uh, they destroyed it the last major with it. Now everybody's realizing the strength of the hero. Yeah, but EG with the 3k lead. And now that Arteezy's on top of the net worth, you expect that to stay the case for quite a while. Fly is getting caught out, though. Avatos. Will they get off the nature's attendance? No. Burst down. Ah, but he's going to get the illusion rune. Careful, waning rift to the high ground, no vision up there, so pursuit will end for Beast Coast. And crit Oops. about a thousand away from Blink Dagger. Deso online, okay. So <laughs> I make it sound like it's a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so the Dragon Lance Deso wow, is what a done. Build. I wonder if Blink is the next item yeah, here for our team. Might be on the menu tonight. I think it's a Blink indeed, as we have. The boat coming in, just providing that rum buff for C Smile. He's gonna get locked inside this mid lane. He's surrounded by EG members and nobody can help him. Nice kill from Abed. As again, the kills continue to get racked up from EG. That's a Chris one classic right there. Just run up the mid lane by yourself, getting coiled. Uh, of course, you never know if the entire Beast Coast lineup is behind him or not. In that case, they were not. But sometimes they are, and they bait him. He's their wild card. Arteezy, Avatar, there was no refraction charges there. He takes the full oh Illumina damage as well, but they're kind of out of gas. As two heroes dead right off the bat for East Coast, and Arteezy will somehow live. Gojira trying to find an angle to potentially finish off Arteezy in a little surprise fashion, but they can see him. And attempting to TP out, he might be successful, That's actually. Fine, yeah. yeah. But either way, EG does get the tier one tower, two kills, and Arteezy lives. And now we're getting to the point where a Roshan is getting closer. Yeah. And obviously, I would say EG have the far superior oh, Rosh God, killing yeah. team. Exo, Deso with TA, and you have the traps for the vision, so just... And Tusk is insane yeah, for Roshan. Tag team is really good. Yeah. 
So next time next time that happens, also taking the mid tower just now means that there's not great TP location for Beast Coast, especially because they're they're di or they're radiant. It's it's a lot harder to get there. Oh yeah, they're they're very worried about it. Oh, are, they're oh, just gonna solo. Oh, all the... right. Yeah, Rasta Wards, you're missing one, but these things do a ton of damage to Roshan. And did you have an inkling that this is happening? Have an idea. But can they contest this early in the game? This is a really pivotal moment, in fact. Silent comes out from Arteezy, or from Nightfall, I should say. They're gonna scout this out. Nightfall into the pit. He goes, eclipses for the BKB. He's gonna mitigate all that damage. Who gets the Roach and is snatched by Nightfall? So Roach technically goes to Beast Coast as the Torrent connects onto two, and that is the death of Abed. And now Cease with that BKB, not fearing anybody because Nightfall doesn't have X or anything to work with right now. And Arteezy is trying to limp away. Snowball's gonna save Nightfall for the time being. They're gonna try to turn this around to Z Smile, but Nightfall is just getting kited left, right, and center. Arteezy buys They're back after his back. death, and they will find the kill on Gojira, but not sure what the buyback is about. And Z Smile will TP out in face of danger. Very interesting development here. He just wanted to farm, it seems. Wow, that was a, yeah, that's a strange buyback from him. Um, that was cool from Beast Coast. Uh, that, I mean, look at the net worth. Like, that was great for them. It, really cool play because they know there's no Death Prophet exorcism. Uh, there there were no spells, nothing from EG. Yep, we're gonna see a coil from Abed, only onto one, but it's a very important target in that conky. He actually dodges the avalanche really nicely done, but now Abed kinda on the run because they've already lost the tuck. Nice toss. That was yep, nice. Toss back, floss, spear vessel applied, trying to heal through. Looks like it's getting real close, real dicey here. And an Arlington. Abed just about griefed to my serum, so the, the little wisps oh. <laughs> were healing Abed too. <laughs> It would have been really funny if he died, but now they can count. Now he's oh, going to die anyway. <laughs> okay. I was all right. speaking a little too soon there. Yeah, it's all good. So two deaths from EG after they've tinned the old Roshan. Well, they the they ages. So, yeah, I mean, Nightfall, you know, this is this is the classic EG at this point. Nightfall is the true carry yep. of the game. Uh, slowly but sure. Oh, he's walking up because he's got an ages. Yep, still three minutes, so not really fearing too much at the moment. Stinger looking for the shackle. Oh, Exo is actually forced by Nightfall. Is he inside the wards? But you can see the ice shards blocking off Stinger's pursuit. So they have to take out the wards to be able to maneuver out. But Abed is taken out by Whisper. What in the world? What is going on with EG? What are they? He didn't expect the orc from Coddle. That's what it was. Whisper. Oh, so he switched switched it up. I he see. did. He did. So he's going. Yeah, he's going orchid, octarine core, blink, yeah, which is the long range. I will press single target buttons on you build. It's a good one. And probably a, a sheep stick after that. Yeah, fly, prematurely pops. That nature's attendance, and he's just gonna get bursted down. But it looks like EG still want to fight. Singer is here along with Arteezy, punched into the air. That's one kill. But the eclipse, actually, a lot of the damage going to the neutral creeps. As Arteezy looks to be mega fine, oh, but Nightfall not so much. It's the triple centaur stomp from the neutrals will spell the end of the ages. Now that Ovid is on his way, you can see the torrent just slightly missed time from C Smile. Nightfall's gonna get the silence on Gojira, and it looked to be the death of him. I mean, the Waller's punch on the other side, so Crit trying to set something up on uh, very deep in the, the jungle here. He's going to take a shark into the Illuminate. Looks like he's fine, though. Narteezy, oh! Ooh, he sniped Assassinates them. Whisper with the Blink Bell. Yeah. Nicely done. Yeah, he's got the Brigand's Blade, too, so he's doing a ton of damage to this 20% HP Whisper. Even more than just a normal Bell Strike. And that was close, dude. Arteezy almost went down there, and he bought back. That could have been disastrous. Yeah, the, <laughs> the neutral camps probably tanked up a good five beams from the Eclipse, I want to say. Yeah, that was not that like was, that. That uh, was unfortunate for Beast Coast. Not like the Omni Slash from earlier that we saw on yeah. one target when surrounded by about five or six. Indeed. Sometimes it does happen. That's why you get Agony Scepter. Then you just have so many beams, it doesn't matter anymore. Yeah, that's true. He'll eventually get that. <laughs> might not <laughs> might not matter at all. Maybe in a pub. Yeah. Not in this game. Well, let's see. Who is it queuing up right now? 
No, that would be the Scotty BKB Hurricane Pike. So pretty normal yeah. stuff on the Luna here. Eh, maybe we'll get to third Roche. Yeah. Second one we won't know for three and a half. But... I mean, the f I really like the fact that Beast Coast tried to take that first Roche, and I mean, they did take it, I guess, technically. Just not able to secure the Aegis. Yeah. Knowing that EG's land is so ridiculous at taking it, uh, taking the initiative in that case, I think is a good move. Yeah, that was hugely game-winning. If, if they don't do that, I, I think that EG takes the next Roche on when they have their abilities up, and they just win the game. The game looks like the last one, where they just slowly pressure and win. I don't know if they want Gojira. They want a big kill here. Seasma would be the yeah. primest of meats. I think Beast Coast have an idea. Oh, what is happening? Crit with the Walrus Punch. He gets silenced immediately with that Orc and then brought down to his knees. Nightfall with the Exorcism and the BKB. Focusing on Gojira for now. Looks like he will go down. So it's a one for one for effective position four. But Exo is a heal down. So Beast Coast could potentially still fight. I mean, you got Boat, you got Eclipse. Okay, that's a four position for the four position. Uh, Nightfall just thought that that fight was bad. He goes in and kind of zones for his team to walk away, which is pretty cool. TP's out with the BKB on while uh, still killing the Tiny with the Spirit Siphon. It, I mean, it's probably the right call. Like, like a fairly disastrous start for EG. If you get a bad jump like that, where your Tusk goes in and gets immediately silenced, it kind of feels like, why don't you just take the next fight? where that doesn't happen, like that sort of garbage initiation or garbled initiation, like that doesn't happen. Maybe like this one, break the smoke. Yeah. Now Abed is going to dodge the Illuminate and blink out to TP. Nice little smoke break. But still very even game. And I mean, we're getting to the territory now once some more items come online for Luna that she becomes quite fearsome. Because right now, for the most part, it's been an eclipse. But once the right-click items come to fruition, this type of stuff right here happens. Yeah, if, if they can get Arteezy disabled, I think Luna does tear through a TA. Oh, we got the snowball coming in, and they are going to just absolutely demolish Stinger. And it looks like Gojira is next on the list. So EG with two quick pickoffs. And they even defend the tier one tower. Still with the coil. It's going to be expanded onto two with the silence to follow from Nightfall with the BKB. Buyback onto the Shadow Shaman, though. The Eclipse comes in, but it will it do enough damage? K1 is very healthy. He's going to get kills here as EG now on the retreat. Looks like Fly is likely to be the third to fall as Arteezy cured himself a triple kill. But it's going to be. Basically the same amount of kills going the way of Beast Coast and the Tier 1 Tower. I think that's probably the biggest deal here is, is getting this tower for Beast Coast. This, this tower has been a thorn on their side for so long. Uh, it's, it basically let EG defend that first Roche. And uh, it would give them access to the second one as well, which mm, I think might... Is, does that mean it might respawn in 14 seconds? And then the yellow is when... Of course, we're not experts in this. Eight seconds, we will know when Roche okay. will spawn. Of course. You've, you've had this discussion. You studied <laughs> that after. Yes, we got called out once, and now I know, surely, two minutes. Okay. I mean, the last time this happened, we got really excited <laughs> <laughs> when it was the golden timer. We thought it was the instant Roche. We're like, oh my god, oh my god. god. It's just pathetic. Yeah, okay. To think that we get paid for this is just Quite disgusting. unreal. Yeah. Apologies. Sorry about that. So EG versus Beast Coast again. EG have the 1-0 lead right now in this two-game series. Beast Coast desperately need this win, and I mean to some degree EG as well. Both on the bottom of the group at the moment. Smoke from EG. BKB on RTZ, ready to go. Even a blink on Whisper. Interesting. Gojira. This little smoke break there. So they know EG is smoked. They, they do. They don't see where the heroes are though not yet fly going in first as always pops the nays attendance there's the walrus punch instant orchid onto crit see smile with the bkb instant bkb now by arteezy but he was disarmed thanks to the newly picked up halberd i'm not sure who that's on right now but it actually wasted pretty much the entirety of the bkb on arteezy yeah 
Looks like it's on C Smile. Another botched initiation by EG, and it's not it's not because Crit's doing anything wrong, it's just Beast Coast being on point, knowing that the smoke is coming. They first put the smokes, so they know it's coming up to that high ground, and then they position it away that Kunkka's the target that gets gone. He's got a Halberd, he's got BKB, he doesn't care. And then they get the silence as well. Whisper's been instant silencing onto onto the tusks, so we can't get a snowball off. Two really good defensive plays from Beast Coast it has has put them back to even in this game. Yeah. So we talked about the blink briefly on Whisper. Uh, there's now a blink on Nightfall. So he's kind of sick of popping that ult and then Beast Coast disengaging. They run away. Yeah. So now he has some ability to to catch. We'll see how that works out for him. And and he feels like he needs a plate mail against the physical damage between the Kunko, the Luna, the, the wards. Oh, yeah. uh, it, it does feel like this when you're playing Death Prophet. It's a hero that wants to be tanky, but of course you're an int hero, so you don't have that much agility. You don't have a crazy amount of base armor, so getting that plate mail really does make you a lot, a lot tankier. Stinger punched in the air. Crit gets off a nice initiation, and it's going to be... Oh, I thought it going to be a quick pickoff. He does go down to the Crypt Swarm. It's spawning soon. Abed with the coil. Only on is on Gojira. The spirit KB, they're gonna ensure the double kill for all. But Abed getting quite a illusory orb out. The buyback down to the Lucent Beam being applied to fly. He does have buyback if they want to try to contest this Roche. Arteezy oh, waiting Arteezy. behind the tree in meld form. I don't know if that's the right target though. Okay, they know they don't have vision. Yeah. At yeah. the very least, so Arteezy's okay. gonna be here for quite a while. Oh, that's a juicy one. That is a dieback for Gojira. If he goes down, there's the mouse strike. Oh my god, it was a two shot. Arteezy with the Crystalis Deso combo. And I believe that was the double meld as well. Yeah, disgusting and damage. Right at that Roche. Wow. Too. That, that was is... sick. No. And into the. Yeah, 4K damage. 4,000. <laughs> Okay, no, that's uh, wrong. No, that's not 16. That's fine. Okay. Well, still. We'll just stick with 4K. 4,000 damage. All right, going for the double mail again, this time in the Roche pit. They can make this really quickly. Remember, Exorcism is still available for Nightfall, which I assume they will use for this. Oh, but at the high ground fly, he's dead. He does have five, but will likely use it in TP to the outpost here. K1 was linked up, but the BKB is going to mitigate all that damage. Double kill for Whisper, and EG buying back in full. As Whisper taking more damage, and he is going to drop to right click of RTZ. C Smile forced the BKB TP. And this should be Roche for EG. They're really trying to catch up to K1. It's going to be a little bit difficult. He's actually going to get the Eclipse, but the BKB was still there for Nightfall. So they'll take the trade any day of the week. And I surely Roche is going to be EG's for the taking. Dude, what would that meld strike hit on Whisper? I feel that was such a long distance. I had to check to see he had like Grove Bow or something like that. <laughs> he didn't. It was just max. Range. It was like a dispose from Marcy. Yeah. Some sometimes that's that goes in Dota. And now he's got silence on those traps. Very nice. That'll be that's extremely good against the Shadow Dome, who will be usually seeing uh, the stuns from long range. We see another replay here. I mean, I think the difference in this fight is the fact that the outpost is still in control of EG, so they can just buy back look TP. This, look at this melt strike. Look at this. And yeah, what? that's not even close. That's not even close. Excuse you. <laughs> this guy's been drinking some nectar. <laughs> some <laughs> Gavin's <laughs> <Some Gavin's> nectar. <laughs> My God. And he's got a Daedalus complete now. I mean, he's so fat that his Dragon Lance is in his backpack right now. All right. And he's keeping the wand for some reason. <laughs> Could have sold that. No, but, that's, uh, an, that's an RTZ classic. You never know when you might need it. Is that just, like, if you sell it, is that, uh, what kind of gold is that? Uh, it would be unreliable. It would be unreliable gold, so. Okay, so there's no point in selling it until you need to. Yeah, it's technically. Okay. Uh... You could lose gold if you if you sell it. If you keep it in your inventory. So it's you better keep to keep it. your item on your courier at base theoretically, and just sell them when you're yeah. ready to buy something. Uh, no, because technically also Good. your net worth would go down because you sell the item half. So your net worth would go up by half of what the item is. I see. Oh, coil. Rasa trying to get away with a little cheeky move here. Actually, we'll find a little bit of this, but Nightfall using the blink dagger to full effect. 
Ghost Scepter TP okay. is gonna be fine. Nightfall does not have the shard. Punished for that decision. That's true. Look at that. The tower's almost dead. Well, Marteze and company crit want to focus down Gojira. They'll get, but this is going to cost them the ages at the very least. So EG trying to split the map, kind of. Crit's going to die, and is going to have to BKB out. Wow, okay. That's a big fight for Beast Coast. Yeah. That's really cool from Chris from Chris Mile. Like you could see that Beast Coast did not want to commit to the Aegis as as RTZ was respawning. But the way that C Small position made it look like East Coast was going to commit to it. So RTZ has to put the BKB to get out. That was super nice and obviously set up by Stinger's nice little rap play that he did on the bot lane. That just what a well executed like minute of Dota from Beast Coast. That was that was nice. And they have continually kept this game really close, despite the first Aegis being stolen by EG, second Roche going to EG in full. But still, dead even right now. No. And Arteezy, I mean, how much more room does he have to grow? He's gonna go for the BK or the MKB into the Swift Blink. What is MKB? I guess you get rid of the Dragon Lance. Oh, wait, you have a oh, wait. You get rid of the boots, maybe. <laughs> well, the wand is already the gone. Wand is the gone. wand is not going to be able to build anyway. The three clarities can probably go. <laughs> uh, Whose bottle is this? This is uh, Abed's. Yeah, right? that would be Abed's. You know. I mean, I guess boots, maybe if you have Swift Blink, doesn't really matter anymore. Right? Oh, Nightfall's looking yeah, for it. Yeah, Silence coming out, trying to force this BKB, and the Snowball's going to do just that. K1 to get off the Eclipse. There he does, and it's going to cost Rasta his life at the very least, and the right-click damage coming right in the trees. He's going to survive his cave. They're trying to focus him down with the exorcism. A nice block from Crit somehow survived throughout all of that. Abed did drop, though, and you can see Tusk goes down to the Illuminate. He was in the Snowball, and he popped right away for some reason. Might have been a misclick there. A double kill for Whisper is they kind of turned this around. So it's a three for three, but Nightfall and TZ both survived for EG. The gem go. Look at the gem. Oh, Chris, he smog up the jump. Okay. It looked like an instant snowball. Yeah, that was weird. Like he didn't hold it. I think he was just spamming it, maybe. Yeah, maybe. But Arteezy with the double damage, like some pressure. The tier two here will be forced back. I mean, technically speaking, like if you look at this game. C Smile is the offlaner, and Abed is the offlaner, and Whispers the mid, and Nightfall is the mid of, of these teams. So that fight, based on that, favors EG. <laughs> Other fact that they lost the gem. That's probably the bigger deal. Okay. Uh, of course, that depends on the cooldown of their gem. Nightfall, I very sick of using Exa. And then not having it available for fights, so, so refresh. A second one, yeah, getting a second one. Of course, knowing his luck. Uh, okay, so they can buy they can, the gem. Cool. Yeah, that was a pretty early one, so. He will be sacrificing buyback for that, for the fresher components. He's not, He's not really, really dying. dying. Yeah, that's... Octacore Whisper, this is a Chad build. Probably Hex next, this is... Is his go-to? Yeah, he's gonna go for Hex. I mean, that range is just insane. And I feel like it's not for Abed, it's it's for Arteezy, to catch Arteezy. Abed is just dying to the crossfire at this point. Yep, there's the Swift Blank now for Arteezy, so opting not to go for, um, wait, what did he have queued before that? He had something. Oh, he's still going MKB, okay, just a little yeah. bit later. MKB Swift Blank. And Luna. Assault Kuros with the study coming soon to a Dota game near you. 35 minutes in, dead even. And as usual, Jenkins, what am I going to say? Rosha. Yeah, Rosh number three. That's right. In two minutes, we'll know. And you laughed. You said, Jenkins, you loser. You I said it fat, a lot. You big jowls, and you're a loser. And you said that Luna is going to get the Aghanim Scepter off Roshan, <laughs> and that's going to determine the game. I'm going to be right about that. No, because usually the Refresher Shard is the one on third row. I'm I know, it's so boring. I, it's a boring. It is, and it's not 50-50. I refuse to it's 50-50. Yeah. 
Uh, it's like 7.30. I'll die, I'll die in that hill with you. It's, it's not like that. I wonder if we could get some stats, actually. Yeah, get some stats. You know those stats exist? In the, in the in the Dota API, I don't know if it actually exists. No, because they don't want people to know that the conspiracy is true. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's, that's like they got right. telling you that they didn't land on the moon, that they, la that they landed on the sun. Oh, wow. Yeah, the yeah. sun. Yeah. It's a tough place to live these days. <laughs> yeah, they, those solar flares really get you. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow the southern accents just continue to come. Yeah, they do. And so both sides on, uh, of. of <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, what? I, I just. I can't transition that. <laughs> I'm just trying to I just jumbled over the words. Yeah. These players, these teams, they're fighting for the mid lane. This always tends to happen at this point. The the map of Dota is not really split around the river. That's another lie. That's another conspiracy. Uh, the, map, the map of Dota is split uh, over the mid lane, uh, especially the later and later the game goes. Uh, but I think we'd much rather be positioned is top. That's where the Roshan is. Indeed, tier two tower is going for Beast Coast as the assault is finished. K1, there's no way he's back after that, surely. But neither does Arteezy. And they're thinking about poke bottom, but K1 should. And it's going to be swiftly taken up. You know, he can't resist. Roshan that number, way. is it? Oh, it's the added up supper. The 30% yeah, is real. That's right, baby. That's right. All right, so Luna Ags is who you want to give to Beast Coast. Yeah. We're talk about the other option, because you're uh, doing a nice job of dissipating this. He gets the Avatars immediately. Five does not die to it, though. Gets off the nature's attendant. Nightfall with the BKB on the bottom side screen. Looks like he's pursuing somebody else. As Stinger gets crit into the air by the crit from crit. Very confusing lead. But Whisper ends up netting himself a kill. Double buyback from Beast Coast. And Tusk, Mr. Crit himself, does not have one to get back into this fight. So likely EG fall back. Nightfall still has refresher though. Yeah, he does. So he he could he but could go back I in. I feel like the Roche fight is what you gotta save for. If there is one. That's probably true. Crit bought out. So he technically did have buyback. Gold. It's just that he 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 bought the halberd, but he didn't have it in that fight. What, is Artisa doing the same thing oh, again? He's doing it, but he's, he's on a ward. He he's is. on a ward. Oh, but Whisper's there, and one shot, two shot, it's not enough. But Abit comes in to clean it up. And that's a buyback now onto the Coddle, and you see the Puck using Coil onto two, but Arteezy focused from above. K1 with BKB, and the Eclipse as Nightfall taking a lot of the damage. He's going to take it off with the BKB, attempting to te teleport out. Will be successful. Fly likely to get tossed back into the fray. And EG, big blunder. It worked the first time. Fool me once. Something, something, fool me twice, something, something. <laughs> Into the Roche That's pit, right. Beast Coast goes. That's what they say, we're gonna get that Luna Axe. Yeah. It's probably gonna go to Kunk, actually. I That's don't wanna, what, no. That's pretty, It pretty is good, PP. but it's not good enough. It's going to him. You heard, oh my god, he doesn't even steal the pit. Aegis goes to Whisper because he used his buyback and Sea Smile with the Torrent Storm. Yeah. Sad. It's a good Axe. Dude, TZ standing up on that high ground. That was crazy, because Sea Smile has a hex. So it's like, yes, yeah, Stinger's dead, but oh it's not God. the only hex in the game. He got one on Konka. He didn't even get it off, and still Arteezy goes down, because it was just it was just very, very aggressive. Yep. Arteezy does not have buyback. Dead for a full minute, and we've seen this story before. Once this first tower goes down... That's Luna. Yeah, Glaives will decimate your base, so... Top set of racks goes the way of Beast Coast, and they're looking for more. In fact, they're looking for potential throning right now. All right, Gojira not able to get the Avalanche to connect. These tier fours are already taking massive damage with the Rasta Wards in addition. The buyback still available for a couple of these heroes on Beast Coast. And we can see Eclipse still not ready as Fly, trying to dodge out these Torch Thorns, but Nightfall is kind of left to his own devices. Has the BKB initiated right now, but we'll have to Spider Legs back to his base as the Ancient is completely exposed right now. Abed by after he dies here, and the Ancient already in half, probably just focused the throne now. You can see him getting extremely low, but still focusing down. He's getting killed by killing the throne itself, and Beast Coast somehow even this series one-to-one. -one. They did it? Well, I, I gotta say, 
I didn't believe in the offlane coddle. Don't know why I'm doing a southern twang. Uh, that would be... <laughs> <laughs> we didn't have time to move back to our Excuse positions me. because it just ended. It just yeah, ended. People and then quite to, abruptly. To throne glaze. Oh, my goodness. I, I got to say, though, I got to say, it's funny that these guys come.